In this video I will show you how to read an Avro stream from Kafka using an Avro schema and then validating the data coming in from Avro with the same schema. In order to show how we're going to read an Avro file from Kafka, first we have to write a file to Kafka. So first thing I will do, I will write 10 records into Kafka that are valid and I'm going to write one more record into Kafka that is missing a name. Altogether I will have 11 records. Now I'm running this job to populate the, the records on Kafka. My second job is a Spark streaming job that is constantly listening to the Kafka topic and re reading the Avro input. Next, I'm converting the Avro schema to a flat schema, and then I'm validating the result has specific fields into it. For example, username is not null, age is not null, and so on. The valid records will be written to one output and the rejects will be written to a second output. Now I start to run the Spark streaming job. it starts reading from Kafka and as you can see the results I have 10 valid records with username in them and one invalid record with a username null as I intended. Now I will show you how to create this job step by step. First you will need the schema of the other file you are intending to read. We'll go to our metadata, hierarchical metadata mapper and create a new structure importing this Avro schema. Once we have selected the schema we can save it and give it a name. Now we'll create a new Spark streaming job and give it a name. We'll place a Kafka input component and configure it to read the topic. We'll place two log row component, one we'll name valid and one rejects. We'll place a thmap record component and a schema compliance check component and configure the necessary schema we want to validate. Connect Kafka input to the thmap record. Connect the thmap record to the schema compliance check, give it a name, and allow it to get the target schema from the component. Now we'll configure the mapping. We select a hierarchical mapper structure that exists, our previously configured Avro schema. Click Next and then generate an hierarchical mapper from the output schema. Now, Talent Data Mapper opens and we can map the Avro schema to the flat schema. We can simply drag the user info from one side into the output record from the other side. Now, we will go into our flat structure and go into the out record, make it editable, and change the occurrence from 1 to minus 1. Make sure it's saved and go back to the job. Valid records will be written to a valid output and rejects to rejects. Of course, you can use any other sorts of output, be it files or Kafka or anything else. Now I run the job again and you will see that by my definition of a valid schema, 10 records are valid and one is invalid because it does not have a username. That's it for this time. Thank you for watching the tutorial.